Welcome back to AM Buffalo. Oh my gosh, you know where we are. We're here at the Buffalo Museum of Science and we are here with Marisa Wigglesworth, the president. Thank you so much for having us. Mm -hmm. It's been a blast. I'm so <laughs> glad. <laughs> it's been a blast. Um, so let's talk about events that are coming because you all have a special event coming up Monday for MLK Day. We sure do. So we are so proud to sit here um, in Martin Luther King Park, That's of right. course in Olmstead Park mm -hmm. here on Buffalo's east side. Um, and so we are always um, looking forward to honoring that Martin Luther King Day holiday. This year, thanks to our friends at Moog, we are offering a pay what you wish day. So we're inviting everybody from all over the region to come on in, explore the whole museum. And if you want to pay a dollar, that's great. If you want to pay $200, Right. That's great. Mm -hmm. If you want to come in for free, that's great. Come on into the Buffalo Museum of Science on Monday. Have a great time with your family and friends. And so when you talk about being able to take part in all that's available here at the Buffalo Museum of Science, there's so much that's here on a regular basis, yeah. and there's so much that comes in just traveling exhibits all the time. Speak to that if you yeah, could. Yeah, all the time. We are really thoughtfully put together a suite of offerings. So yeah. it really starts with what we call our core exhibits. Mm -hmm. You were in our biodiversity exhibit, right? That's here all the time. Mm -hmm. It's a core exhibit. Um, and we have a number of them. We have four floors of core exhibits here all the time. And even those core exhibits, we try to refresh once, oh, about every 10 years. Yes. We're just getting started on that, so everybody should stay tuned. In addition to those core exhibits, though, we bring in what we call temporary exhibits. Yep. And, um, and many of those are housed in the gallery right behind oh, you. Yep, look right? at this. Our temporary exhibit gallery. And you can see, pardon our uh, appearance at the moment, <laughs> because we're in the process of updating the gallery, yes. getting ready for what comes next. And that's reinventing reality. Oh, is that in what's February. going on? That's right where here? reinventing oh, reality goes. So that's oh coming up. Boy. Yeah. I did love, and this, I speak to everything because I say you, the things that you had before, like the Fragile Bee was just here. Yep. Wonderful exhibit. If you miss it, don't worry, maybe it'll come back around. But reinventing reality is so exciting. I, yep. We're going to be talking about that in just a bit. But one of the things that I did want people to know is that this is something, there's always something here for everyone. Yeah. It doesn't matter the age. You can come with your whole family because somebody will find something. Absolutely. We really try to build our exhibits and our experiences with that front of mind. You know, no matter where you go in the exhibit, we want there to be something for everyone. Mm -hmm. So there are always uh, engaging, hands-on engaging things, perhaps for our littlest visitors. We're uh, doing more and more with our in-person activities and demonstrations and floor shows, and they're really adaptable depending on the audience's interest or the guest in front of them. Yeah. So, so really, the, bring the whole family because everybody's going to find something to enjoy and learn. Are you now, super excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> and you know what, Emily, this is my first time here today. Oh and goodness, I'm bringing my girls on Monday. We are coming Fantastic. on Monday. And Emily spoke so highly of it because, I mean, she, she absolutely loves it here. Is there <laughs> anything, one or two pieces or one or two parts of the museum that you can speak to that families just absolutely love you know, when they come? Yeah, well, the one, the, the thing I always highlight on the third floor of our museum, in our, our Marvelous Earth exhibit, we've got a water table. And the intention of the water table is to help uh, families, visitors, learn about erosion and the impact of water and how it moves and how geology influences water patterns. Mm -hmm. And that water table is absolutely the number one place where I see families and multi-generations interacting and learning and playing together. That would be my favorite, and you and your girls are going to love it. You know what's so great also is that you house collections here. House, when I say that, is the stuff you don't always get a chance to see because there's so many things. We're so great. We're so lucky. It's, it's such a treasure to have what you have here. But you give people an opportunity, namely adults, if you're looking for something to do with the scene of another or maybe your friends and family or your coworkers, you get to see behind the scenes collections every now and then and you change yeah. the subjects, correct? We, we really do. We've, we think we've got about 750,000 items wow. in our collections, wow. all here in this building. Yeah. And of course, only a small fraction of those is on display or on exhibit at any time. So we are really pleased to be able to offer what we call behind the scenes collections tours. Yeah. Small groups, really sort of special elite experience, adults only. Mm -hmm. uh, we offer them a few times every month in the evenings during the day and they're themed just as you said and yeah. so right now um, we've got a terrific 
tour of primarily our geology collection called Geology Rocks. Uh, and then also a wonderful tour of uh, some of our, um, our our mammals, our taxidermy, our, our um, unusual holdings um, mm -hmm. called Cabinet of Curiosities. Yes. And so always an interesting theme. We change those themes as frequently as audience demand. Yeah. Um, really a special experience. I'm excited to talk more about that after the break because yeah. we will. And we'll be talking more about reinventing reality as yeah. well. You know I can't get away from it. Well, I figured out the murder mystery. You did? I did. I'm still there, too. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> and we'll be back with more. Stay with us, folks. You're watching AM Buffalo.